Okay, so I just had a request from one of my subscribers to go over S2 June 2011 in particular, Part B. <coughs> I'm reading the question, I can understand. It's slightly bamboozling the wording and it's a little bit confusing. Part A uh, is pretty straightforward, so we'll I'll just quickly mention that. Um, basically, we've got a uniform distribution between 7 and 10, and the probability of it being shorter than 9.5. I normally do a diagram. So we basically want the ratio of this area compared to the whole lot. Or we can compare the lengths, of course. So that's 2.5 over a total of 3, which is 5 over 6. OK, I've just written out the question, the one for part B, which is what we're interested in. But of course, listeners are going to want more than just the answer because you've got that on the mark scheme anyway. This is pretty much word for word what's written in the mark scheme. So why is this the answer? So I suppose that's the question. Well, I'm just going to try and explain this in another way, just to try and picture this. I mean, some people will be able to get straight to this, but I don't want to confuse the situation. I'm going to break it down. I'm not suggesting that this is what you'd need to write in the answer. In fact, what's written here is certainly good for the two marks, and uh, you don't need to write any more. But just to try and picture why this is the answer, I'm going to take it slightly long ways and break it down a bit. So I'm going to define the binomial, y to be the binomial 3 and 1 over 6, which is where... Basically, it's the number out of three, yeah, because three sweets are chosen, where they're more than 9.5. So the number that out of three, which are more than 9.5. Why have I done that? Well, because the required probability, well, what if they were all three of them were greater than 9.5? Yeah. Well, in that case, the longest one certainly is greater than 9.5. They're all greater than 9.5. There will be one of them which is longer than the other two, but the point is it's going to be more than 9.5. And of course, even if two of them, even if only two of them are greater than 9.5, one of them is shorter than 9.5, but two of them are longer than 9.5, the longest one is certainly greater than 9.5. Um, plus the probability that one of them... OK, if only one of them is greater than 9.5, two of them are shorter than 9.5, but the longest one is greater than 9.5, because y equals 1, it would be that 1. In fact, the only one that it can't be is 0, because if we had 0, then we would be looking at... Um, that none of them are greater than 9.5, so the longest one is less than 9.5, so not that one. So yeah, we could add these three, you know, use the binomial, add these three and get the required probability, put it into formula. But it would be much quicker to take away, because these four, one of these four events is going to happen, it would be much quicker to take away the event that x is equal to zero. And so basically none of them, that would be the probability that none of them are greater than 5 over 6. It's 5 over 6 cubed. I'm not really keen when people write the, you know, the, this in the binomial thing, where it's basically 5c3, 1 over 6 to naught, 5 over 6, for me, when that, when candidates write that, it's obviously correct, but they haven't done enough practice and they can't see the extreme ends are, you know, you don't need this stuff basically. So it's uh, 5 over 6 cubed. So that hopefully explains why this is the answer. I hope that helps. Part C is a similar thing, but it's probably slightly less confusing in terms of the wording. Um, this time we've got 6 to, uh, sticks being chosen. And it wants the, the probability, uh, it was talking about them being shorter than 7.6. This is the probability that one of them is shorter than uh, 7.6. We can see that from the graph. 
7.6, basically this distance 0.6 over the whole, which is 3, that's one fifth. So this is being done six times, and we want the probability that more than four of the sticks are shorter than 7.6. Be careful with the inequality, because we could also write pre y is greater than or equal to 5. Anyway, that comes to 1 minus y equals to 4, and we get this number from tables. These are our, I think, tables for 6 and 1 fifth. And then we can uh, get that as our answer. Okay, short video, hopefully helpful. Bye.